We call Tanua a green hell, and that's because it's not just a vacation paradise, but there are many elements of industry and militarization. Some of the key points of Tanua are of course the volcano, which you've seen in the reveal trailer, as well as a rare earth mineral mine, and there's an industrial port, but of course there are many more key points that we want players to explore. Tanua has this exploited history for, for hundreds of years, uh, human settlements have taken away from the island. So we can see that in, for example, the sugarcane factory and the sugarcane fields, but we also have something more modern. I think diversity maybe is the key characteristic of the terrain. We also think this terrain is going to be very cool and suitable for all types of different community creations, whether that is a military experience or anything crazy you can imagine. Two of our environment designers actually went to Fiji, which is very similar to the type of atmosphere that we want to recreate. Our Fiji field expedition focused on gathering photo references of ground surfaces, of vegetation, flora, fauna, structures, all these type of things. Tanoa is what we call geotypical Fiji, which means it's not an exact recreation, but the atmosphere, the vegetation, the type of structures are very similar to it. Aside from this, we, we discussed uh, with the team the kind of what games we've played that are similar to this setting, what kind of films, what kind of books. Basically piece together this, this uh, authentic setting and, and try to, to translate those ideas into representing it in-game. With gameplay in mind, I think it was really important for us to, to recognise that Tanua must support a, a whole variety of different gameplay types, from authentic military to more civilian or casual modes, uh, to everything in between. Tanua passed its first real milestone. It's uh, the basic layout, the basic shape, the structure of the terrain is in place. And now we're moving into production of the structures of the vegetation populating the world. Now in this phase, we also bring in the content designers. So we start to think about the locations, the areas that we want to have in our official content. Now we're focusing on some audio-visual improvements. We have things like the, the new lighting config, 